Hello, it's Tosi. And so for this video, I thought I'd show some builds that didn't really deserve a video on their own. Uh, so this first build is a controllable up-down piston worm. Uh, yeah, it can move up and down. You can change the direction at any time. It can be up to 11 wide and infinitely expandable vertically. Uh, the way it works is that you have a observer slider and these pistons they're powered using two instant wires so one wall based instant wire and a rail based one and the way that it moves up is that you first power this rail based instant wire which will update the bottom piston first and then the top one last and that makes it so that this bottom piston will always update before the top one and then on the way back you update this wall based instant wire which will update the top one first and then the bottom one last and that's how it moves up and then to move down you basically just do the reverse so you power the wall based wire first which will update this top piston and then when you slide it back you update the real based instant wire yeah so pretty cool um, what I plan to use this for is that thing in the background so this is a uh, configurable concrete powder door which maybe I will still finish it at some point but yeah it's kind of a horrible design <laughs> So uh, probably not, just gonna rethink the layout a little bit. Um, but yeah, here you have a observer slider, which moves the wall or essentially the door up and down. And then, um, yeah, these sliders, you can push them in from behind in order to uh, reload the concrete powder. Right, so next up, we have the, a proof of concept for the smallest infinitely expandable flush trapdoor. It can be infinitely expandable in length because these segments can be five or six long. So you can just combine them to create any size from like uh, 18 or 19 long. And for now it's just four wide, um, just because it's a proof of concept, but you could change the timing so that it's expandable. Um, this design does have a pretty big downside in that it's incredibly slow and you also have these massive dents in the wall. So this next build is the smallest infinitely expandable piston door uh, as long as the segments are four wide.
For this last build, I have a 1 by 1 pixel display that can be up to 12 high and 15 or 16 wide. This display makes use of my Zuma's 1x1 pixel display, which is essentially uh, two rows where the top row always has to power before the bottom row. This is quite a challenge for this display because the pixels are represented using a observer and a trapdoor. So you get inconsistent timing out of the ROM. The way I work around it is by powering the bottom pixel using lava which essentially just adds a bunch of delay. The next challenge is that um, you get either two pulses or three pulses out of the ROM, depending on the pixel state. And you have to filter that into a single on or off, or essentially just a, a toggle whenever the pixel has to change. Uh, the way I do that for this lava row is well, just using lava because it takes a while to reach the end. So if you power it twice, the lava will never have enough time to reach the observer. And for the top row, I use a redstone block and a repeater set to four ticks. So if you quickly retract it and then power again, the repeater will not have enough time to turn off. But if you power it three times, it will just toggle the uh, redstone block and it will end up here. And then the observer will power. <laughs> 